pushed. And to be honest, we all have individual ways of doing uh, things and approaching stuff. I, an industry player, I well respect other people's modes of operation and therefore have accorded maximum amount of respect to every other artist in the country. And I'm sure that he also has, you know, in his best of knowledge, been able to accord respect to people. But we all saw what happened on the night, which is not the main reason why we're here. The main reason why we're here, to be honest, is for peace, for love. Look at this, you know. And when we see each other together like this, we all should know that the future is brighter. And whatever there be, we have buried. You know, whatever the hatchet be, you have buried it. We have drowned every unnecessary stuff, you know, to move forward because we've always known, but by the turnout of events, we get to realize the importance of unity, the importance of coming together as a united force in our individual ways. You know what I mean? So this is the main reason why we are here seated today, you know, to say the peace conference which is very important because the youth of Ghana actually love us and we drive the youth of Ghana, hands down. Shatter and Stoneboy drive the youth of Ghana home and abroad, not only in Accra or Kumasi or whatsoever. So what is the best way? How else can we get this going without all these unnecessary feud that the media benefits from? Unnecessary few that somebody at home benefits from. Somebody, for instance, somebody will see me in town and say something I'm like, wow, so this is what you expect me to do. But you don't know the outcome, the consequences. So I actually see that we now have to put everything aside to address these people, to direct them and not allow them to direct us. You know? So this is how short I want to keep it. And I would, again, say sorry and apologize you know for the roles that we have played you know in making this happen because regardless i'm a man of peace he's a man of peace as far as i'm concerned and today we're here standing for peace for ghana and we pray that the word of peace will be taken to the world as far as and beyond the point where the fracas got to so we want this to be pushed to the BBCs, to the Al Jazeera's, to know that yes, these two people are together now, like they've always wished to be, to grow the industry of Ghana against other African countries and put the name of Ghana first because it's Ghana first, you know? So thank you very much. That's what I have to say. I was, I'll leave the rest to my brother. <laughs> I think my brother said, oh, what the. Um, I was about to say, but um, basically, like you said, um, um, yeah, we just want to apologize to, you know, all who felt bad, you know, to my Beam Nation fans, to my Shutter Movement fans, you know, to my personal friends in the media, to my sweet people, you know, in the media. I just like to say, um, it always happens and you know like you said you know peace is what we all want and we all want to get our business flourish and you know live a good life and it's an example we're setting for the next generation to come so people should just you know understand this and i know most people saw our pictures and they were like no that's photoshop that's for you know be photoshop i beg you <laughs> right and i believe you're seeing the real video and it's, it's nice so oh i did like no, no be photoshop. it'd be photo market <laughs> All right, can we clap for them, please? <laughs> okay, so the most important point to take from what the both uh, uh, gentlemen have said is that there is a unity concert that is coming up, and that unity concert will see the two of them performing hit by hit to their teeming fans from all over the country and that's coming up. Do you both want to touch on it more, Shatawale? Um, I think my brother knows about it more, so I think he can. <laughs> this one, yeah, you know about it more. <laughs> uh, 
start, make a finish. Oh, Charlie, it's really there. Make like or make you put your Facebook live. That'll be where you feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll be where you can put you live. So you go feel tell them. Uh, <laughs> look, I just get my phone right here. <laughs> you know, well, it's true. Um, we, we're planning to get, you know, something like that. And um, um, Ketsi, you know, Kofi Aban Foundation, um, we really working hard towards this and i think he's one person who really sat us down and you know spoke to us about you know how we can move business so we are seeing it from the business side of life and people should just watch out for a great concert something to portray peace something to promote ghana something to sell ghana and you know as he said you know ghana first is a newborn baby that we try to you know, nature and it's gonna grow and we want the next generations upon next generations to come to really follow it up and yeah, it's gonna be a great thing. And I, I want, you know, the media to also support us because I, I believe we've been, you know, here and there, you know, Stoneboy, Shatawale, Stoneboy, but this is the time that we believe with our hands joined together we can be able to move Ghana forward. So yes, the concert is coming up and you know, you're gonna enjoy something nice. You know how we do it. You know, this time too, nobody say we. <laughs> I will continue for. Me. Anyway, thank you. Um, uh, me, I'm gonna go back small and I'll come join because a lot of people have actually made this possible. Someone has here. Yeah, we're not gonna be here and not give thanks to some people who have at least added a word or two. Even those people who would sleep at home and wish that Shatter and Stoneboy came together to push the industry, those people also made it possible for that to be, for us to be here today. Because by their wishes that they send into the universe, God hears it. And even us ourselves, you know, we have been willing and always been willing, you know. But like he, he said, there has to, and every, you know, we need all forms of all other arms to be operational to make this happen. And that's why the Dr. Kofi Aban Foundation actually presented itself, you know, to, to play the role of that other arm to make sure that it comes to reality. But I do not want the media to feel like for such and such reasons only is the reason why we see the need to come here and engage you people to talk to you because we have ulterior motives. I do want to address that so that from the horse's own mouths, you guys will hear. We have been yearning for peace for a long time because in freedom, creativity thrives. You know what I mean? And in peace, we all feel at ease to work. So thanks to the police force, you know, especially... Um, the Mediana Menim Tati, ACP, 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 ACP Media, Yako, the, the Jupo. She's been a mother and a big sister to us. And can I throw a secret? You guys would have seen a, a picture of us from time. But you know, tensions have to die down so that we don't blend things up and all of that. So, you know, thanks to her, thanks to the, the original, original commander, commander uh, the Mr. Kwesi, Kwesi Furi. Furi, and then the. Um, DSP Mohammed. Uh -huh. You know, I, I think the regional um, uh, uh, command, command, yeah, really um, helped command. us. You know, yes. enough. They, they they started um, talking to us before. Yes, and thanks to the other small small places to, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm the secret door. Uh, so thanks to everybody, everybody. The, I want to, I, I want to reiterate something that see the law actually works. You know what I mean. And then the police force are doing their best each and every day to make things work. And yesterday the president said in Canada, in addressing the rain stuff, he said one point that I also was. I, I mean, we were discussing that our attitudes, our attitudes actually matter. So definitely we need to change our attitudes to us people, you know, to make sure that the police can work, the law can work, and we're all living what? Peace and harmony. So first and foremost, there's going to be a concert. The date is going to be announced soon. And I will not leave here by, by not acknowledging Bullet, our own brother. Forget about Rough, rough, rough Town. Bullet, our brother. 
when, when she, he, when she, and when she, yeah. he, well, he's also been around the doctor uh, <laughs> but i'm not gay you know that no, 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 no. this is uh, no disrespect jesus yeah. kiss yeah <laughs> you see he's also been a brother to dr kofi aban so them also have pushed this man to realize that he has to go and hustle to be able to make this event happen. So just on that side, we have to acknowledge that. So definitely, and Anaba also, you know, say she did tweet, she did, she gets she's, like, she's been up so much she's help. She's been and, so much support. Yeah. Not to say that the other people haven't been, but these are the people who have actually spent time and energy and left their jobs to come and make sure that, look, let's capitalize and turn things around. Because people would think that Africa and Quebec come more. So our big beam nation is me, I'll be beam to the core. Okay. Me, I'll be fan of myself, self. Uh-huh. So we love ourselves as much as you guys love us. You understand? But the fight and the this thing there, definitely it be natural. Things will come, but we have to understand it differently and make sure that at the end of the day, it they grow us or it they benefit us or it they put us in a good light. You understand? Because they're negative, you know they help. It means let many things know the feel. Sorry for the masses and the cat. We are local people. So. We are international people. But we are, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are local and international, so we can blend. I it. get surprised and forget. Mm -hmm. So at the back, we want that this press conference will reach the farthest end of the world because it doesn't take it doesn't take a widow's might to bring these mighty names into this room. And we're proud to come from Ghana and our Ghanaians and are willing to continue to do the most from other Ghana in peace. So media, please help us. Don't be crashing our heads. Eh? The headlines sometimes, when I read them, I say, ah! then I start to think plan B. Into when they read, no, I say, you know, let me just say something to believe most bloggers are in here, most media people are in here. I believe this is the time for us to start a new business. Yeah. This is the time for us to open a new venture. If you want us to beef, please, let's have a meeting, like here. It's nice. <laughs> so that we'll plan it, so that the next time it won't be, you know, elsewhere. You know, people will be reading negative news. We can all make money when we come together, but if we stay in our solo rooms and solo places and feel like we can just put up headlines we won't make money so i beg you me the money is my problem so let us all make money. <laughs> thank you very much. all right so the concept will be known as ghana first yeah. uh the shatter and bim nation coming together for that particular concept so it's ghana first like ghana not first. fest first so i hope we're someone in our ghana for and uh, Liberia for Anna. <laughs> uh, Liberian Ghanaians. Definitely. So yeah. now the questions to yeah. are open. Okay, so we'll take five. Is there anything else you guys want us to address or speak about? It will come about? up in the questions. Ah, okay, think. madam. It will come you, up sir. in the questions. Thank so you, um, if we can have, um, we're taking only five questions. Owusu Warai from TV3. Can you come forward, please? Over there, right there. It's fine. They'll bring you a microphone. Sorry. Beyond the arguments on the street and everything, one big wish of the fans out there is that the two of you work on a song together or maybe an album together. Is that possible? And when is that happening? Thank you very much. And by so doing, we want to find out who will pay for the production. <laughs> very important <laughs> uh -huh. you see so there are technicalities that go into things like this and for big brands like us we have a we have it down written down and i think it will cost like is a multi-million dollar venture to get us together to but we're working on it so we are raising funds now small small so that it gets to the end of the world you understand yeah, so think, one day it will come. I think I need to chip in this. Chip um, in. I like the way um, Warren, yeah, right? Um, mm -hmm. You asked about how a collaboration is coming up. I know most of you see music to be an easy thing for us to do, but um, it's business for me and him. You know, like you said, um, we've been friends from way back, and we understand the business 
that is why people see us today like this because long time ago we we're talking about this like you know from 2005 2005 yeah you know those days you know bullet was living around and you know and you know can i break a secret before he ends can i <laughs> can i don't go no go far okay, okay, don't see, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> you know when he got his first car by his record label the first person they called was me to come and ride with him <laughs> this guy is my guy he's my guy he's my guy <laughs> And, and, and that day, no, <laughs> I swear, nobody know that secret. If you know that secret, you be God. <laughs> that day, no, end of story, they seize the car. <laughs> Who sees it? Oh, no, we yeah. continue. Yeah, we continue. <laughs> we'll, the bloggers are here. If they want the story, we'll give it to them. Yeah. But we'll, we'll pay something small. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me just add that this uh, press conference is live on GH1 TV and also on GH1 TV's uh, Facebook page. Um, so join the conversation across the social media network. So uh, the next question, Doreen Avio from Multimedia. Doreen, please. Boss. You can only ask a question when I've called you. Thank you. Um, good day, everyone, and good congratulations day, to Stoneboy and Shatawale on this. Congratulations to us all. <laughs> all right, so my question is, um, yes, we've seen this unity in the past. We actually saw it on a shaman to the world concert. Yeah. We've seen it countless times. But the question is, how long would it last? And for your fans as well, um, since the picture came out, it's yeah. always looked like it's fake. There's a disconnect. It's like there's a disconnect because, well, Shatawali is a funny guy, so there's always this facial expression. Mm. How is this going to last? And how are you going to promise us that nothing of the sort is going to happen again? Who answers first? Who are you throwing that to? Shata. And then me. Or yes, me and him. The two or of you. Okay. The two of you. I, think, I think my brother can really answer this well for me. <laughs> Yo, but today, after a year, Shata, they owe me like $1 million because. I didn't answer the questions or I beg you, I beg you. You can do it better. Okay, to be honest, before God and man, um, for us to get to this point, we have had to try a number of times. I have had to play my role a number of times because there is a willingness to see peace and grow in peace. And I, I can say this for us that regardless of who erred or who didn't, that day of an Ashaiman show was when my wife was stabbed when she had, was pregnant with my daughter. And then guess what? We took her to the hospital and my manager asked if you were going to be able to still perform. I was like, why not? And that was the day we even did that. So I missed the storm. We still pulled it, right? And if it didn't last whatsoever, it's only right as human that we keep trying in life to keep trying, to keep trying to get to the top. Because a number of times you realize that when he has events, the media will keep asking me, are you going to go to the concert? Are you going to go to the concert? What did I do? I called Samini. We tried. You know? And when I had my... He, are you, is it going to come? Abeku Santana was vibing. What did he do? He tried because that theft is danger zone as well. You know, the, for the rivalry. But, so, I just want Ghanaians and the world to understand that we have always been trying, not just us, but why not? It starts from the top. Peace is key. The government preaches peace. The president preaches peace. Industry that the people listen to more than the presidency. Over the years, we've preached rivalry and have put heads together to say competition, the rivalry grows the industry is key. But tell me what rivalry has actually gained us you know, that is ill rivalry, unhealthy rivalry. What has that gained us? You know what I mean? So the length, how, I mean, how the, 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 the length of this unity is not dependent on us. We leave it to divine. But we we'll always keep trying when we fall. Thank you. Okay. Add something. Okay. <laughs> Well, like I said, um, um, yes, we keep trying. We, we still want to see what the Almighty God has for us. But um, as mature people, you know, I believe he's a married man. He has kids, you know. I'm a 
bachelor, you know. <laughs> he, you are who? Bachelorette or whatever. <laughs> you know, and we but are, he has kids too, and you know, yeah, he has a kids. family. Importantly, have, have we all family. have families. Yeah, you know, you know but um, all I'll say is that you people are the people we need more to help us to grow this. You know, because to grow this, you need to yeah, it you know, because uh -huh. I, I believe, you know, most of the bloggers here have gotten my Facebook videos, which are very popular, you know, which I apologize. I don't want to be some skirmish tomorrow. But um, all I just say is just try and put us there, like the way we are seeing other African countries doing. You know, I believe he can hold my hand when I'm falling, and I can also hold his when he's falling. And we all have, you know, you know, a little, you know, short falls here and yeah, there. Yeah. But um, uh, if people support us, if people treat us like the way we want to see ourselves, I believe we can all share the same idea and move on. Because the unity will last yes, even longer. Cause, yeah, because mm -hmm. like he said, you know, beef, competition. This guy is better than this one. This guy, they do this one. This one, they do this one. But it hasn't gotten us anything in our industry. And I just want to urge everybody to just love us today and start promoting love from today so we can have that peace and you know you like you guys can have us on your interviews and you know me and stone boy you know try because we have a whole lot of projects we want to do now not only this you know we we are looking at the bright future we are looking at you know empowering like most of the youths you know to really learn from this so they can grow well when they want to be musicians because i believe now parents want their children to be musicians because of me and stone boy Absolutely. you know they've been Musicians who, are, who have come, but you know, they have not <laughs> done the thing that we have done. And I beg you people, sometimes if I'm talking, then my comedy is coming up, but let's just tell it. People supposed to stop laughing. I'm serious. <laughs> but I love you people, and you people have to just love us like that so that we can push it. The bloggers, the media people, I beg you. Right now, this is my brother. I, I gave him a Jesus kiss. If like, I can give him Abraham kiss too. <laughs> So that people are, we beg you. So people should just support us because we are not perfect. We can't say, okay, today we are here, nothing will happen. Tomorrow maybe we'll meet at the filling station and because of fuel. And it's, oh, fuel, fuel, fuel. They are fighting because of fuel. Uh -huh, it to be some. So when you people help us, we can do well. So Doreen, I think your question has been answered. Stop laughing. Thank you. All right. Um, Doreen, you like the answer? Yeah. So it depends more on the media to help mm -hmm. us. Like, don't pitch us against, you know, we all definitely is life. Maybe I met a C or baby, no, no, it's a F or baby, but say the audible boom, no. Uh huh. But because we are not fighting against each other, we are, we are competing against the world. And okay. we can't do that just by us only, but right. by you guys. Like the other day, to be honest, I posted a fine. We do post pictures. You realize that when we post pictures, it goes about on our blogs, but you don't see most often the international media rallying it around like the other fellow people. Now, I say, ah, sometimes it will drop picture, post the picture already, and can say, Eda Al Jazeera. But we be trying to be a lie, be a net, be a be. And they say, you're supposed to be pushy, and they're not to extend, they can't, their hands will be tied. So much so that. So the media actually has the power, I, I, I tell you people. You know what I mean? So please, to last this relationship is you guys. Absolutely. Please. Okay, we just take three more questions from GH1 TV, Ajoa Loud, Sati TV, and Konkonsa. I'm sorry. Ajoa. Eugene, uh, they're wondering why I'm calling you Konkonsa. That's his name. I can concern you. <laughs> all right, so I just want to find out that after all is said and done, if Charterhouse decides today that they are taking off the punishment, are you ready and willing to still work with the events company and be part of the award scheme, if for nothing at all, maybe for the fans? Thank you very much. If for nothing at all, maybe for the fans. For the fans, we have done a lot of things. For the fans, we don't have privacy. For the fans, we don't have a life. For the same fans, we don't sleep. We keep creating every day. And so the fans are key people on our hearts that we can't um, disappoint. It transcends from fans to citizens to people who love us and want to see us grow. So we put in a lot of work. For the fans, we have sacrificed so much that they don't even have an idea about for the fans, we go through so much. For the fans, we've slept in places that we're not supposed to. So that's on the side. 
Charterhouse and VGMA as event organizers, I mean, over the years, we've, we've worked together all up until times where they ban Shatter and they sit back with him and bring him back. And now, now currently, both of us have been banned. We realize that. Um, if they do decide by their discretion to lift the ban whatsoever, I want them to also understand that, like we've always been, we're professionals. We're willing and open to work with whoever sees us fit to work with. Therefore, when it gets there, we'll cross it. But I would admit that with the past brawl that happened and the whole thing, I think that we, I mean, I wouldn't address it, but I think I should go there a little bit. The parties involved are not just me and Shata, you know, but we have borne the most, right? We have borne the most. We have been banned, our awards have been stripped, we've been, that alone is like a low blow, you know what I mean? And it's a thing that can have an effect on us. We've seen our musical president come and say the industry can do without us. To be honest, these are trying times and times that we should realize that we're not just the two in the, in the place, and it's all of us, and we should all admit to our fault. We have come out to apologize for the past that we've played, but Charterhouse, VGMA hasn't come to say anything for the involvement, for their involvement, either being wrong or right. You know what I mean? And I want you to know that. So if they do lift the banners to their discretion by the board or by the people that sit there, we are willing to work. And when we get there, we'll cross it because we are professionals. We'll do things right this time. <laughs> like, yeah, you talk about so. <laughs> uh, I think I like what he said. Oh, don't, don't you like what he said? Yeah, I think he, he makes sense from what he just said. And I just would like to say, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, please, was it well answered? Do you like the answer? Ajwa, you like the answer? Absolutely. City TV. The microphone, please, for City TV. Hi. It's on. Hello. Okay, so I'll ask the girls tonight. Okay. So, it's loud enough. Yeah, my voice is very loud. Yeah. So yeah. Hello. Really, I was gossip when I saw what happened at the VGMAs. I was disappointed in both of you, but you've redeemed yourselves by coming together. So you're doing the concert, Ghana First concert. Do you think your fans or your followers are mentally ready to see you two perform underneath the same roof? Because you guys are arch rivals, but now you're friends. Your fans have, might have not yet digested the fact that you guys have come together. They might come into underneath a roof and one might step on one shoe. And be like, hey, why did they step on my shoe? And they get upset and they fight. And it causes a big shenanigans here in Ghana. What measures are you guys putting in place to make sure that doesn't happen on the night? All right. Uh, as usual, I'll take it again and my brother can close it. I, sorry if it's like Menkwa and Ameyaz and Maema no se But that's the procedure. <laughs> Um, I, I would want Ghana and the world to understand that mentally it hasn't been easier for neither him or I. If it has not been easy for, if it's not going to be easy for the followers who we cherish, they should also understand that it's never been easier for the leaders who they follow. But if we have been able to consider a bigger picture, Ghana first, I trust that by the love they have for us as those who they respect enough to lead them, they would buy into this and we need them to support this idea. Else, we'll just close and go and sleep because he is going to go into estate anyway. I'm going to do something else I won't tell you guys anyway. We have our individual lives, but I would want the masses to also understand that. To be honest, we do not have a life like they do. They have their individual lives and they were, were like the icing on the cake for them. We inspire them, yes, but who inspires us? We love them and we do this, but who loves us? It's only them that can love us and give it back. So we trust that this direction 
It's not an evil one. And God knows that in peace we all grow and in unity. So if we do come under one roof, then it leaves, I mean, mentally, psychologically, I would ask them that they should have the strength to. Because two weeks ago, you guys saw the heights of it. And I know that the fans also get to their own levels. Some people fight, some people, we hear them, some people use knives and all of that. It would have to begin with us for them to get disinfected. Sorry, if it's an infection. You know, now it has begun. So I beg them to mentally receive it. It may be harsh, but if they think it's harsh on them, it's harsh on us, if I can use that word. But we have to get it done. And then the measures that should be put in place now leaves the terrain of me and Shatter. It goes into the terrain of security, terrain of law, media, publicity, which we trust that as professionals, we will make sure that hey, this time, uh, scanner, the scanners, everyone that they use for airport too. We will make sure, say, we, all the various departments will not go away with anything so that we are all brought to book when they need be because we trust that we are all professionals so, and we know what to do. So like I answered for the Charter House staff, as and when they decide again by their discretion, we are here. We will be professional. And um, one thing I think people really don't also study about us musicians, like um, I think people feel we are swollen headed. You know, the perception outside is that we don't know what we have and you know, we just move about anyhow. But uh, I would like to address this to everybody that these are fans that we started with them from day one. And they really listen to us, you know. I mean, most of my fans, when you watch my performances, when you misbehave, I will tell you, hey, Jan, what's his name now, you know. Yeah, you know, so these are people who listen to us. He runs a nation. I, runs an, I run a nation, you know, and I, w I would even like to see if the government will allow, they should even get a beam region and a shatter movement region because we control most of the youths in Ghana, but that is what positively, yeah, you know, that is what the leaders of this country are trying to avoid or they're trying to, you know, watch with a blind eye, but people should just understand this, that what we are doing today, our fans are watching and they're really going to follow it as such, you know, people say our fans are crazy, they're rowdy and stuff, but we have nice fun, like the way um, um, Nana Drag, yes. I like your fun like this, very <laughs> sexy, you know, so people should just understand that what we are doing today, the fans are watching yeah. and they are just going to follow exactly like yeah. what they are hearing from us and the police, thanks to the police, they bring so much of help to us, you know, yeah. anywhere we go, they are there and so they are also going to work very well for us to have yeah. a very, you know, suitable entertainment industry. Yeah, and I want to add something more um, about the fan base thing. You see, we have come to a realization that it is okay, it is super cool if you don't like Stone Boy and you like Shatawale. You know what? Once you like a brother who does the same thing and is a Ghanaian, it's okay. But if you don't like Stone Boy and you like somebody else far, then now when I go if you come see watch your step and it is okay to like stone boy and and you know what i mean and also the other way around if you don't like Shatawale, it's okay but to cause fights and beefs out of that is where it goes beyond the border i know people who love me so much and don't love him i know people who love him so much and they tell me say media i mean shut up fan oh bah. so yeah why not come on man you know so we're not doing today Make no somebody know see I'm say, hey, now are the good thing how to love Shatter. Ah. <laughs> cool. Lo love me, love me, me and this. Somebody to go to say, ah, now are the good thing how to love Stone Boy. Love him, love him. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> continue to love Shatter, continue to love Stone Boy. But the peace, the significance be say, let us not take it to levels where we'll destroy each other at the end of the day and gain zero. That's why it's Ghana first. Because we are Ghanaians before Stone Boy. We are Ghanaians before Shatter as our uh, showbiz names. So that is the essence. So that's what I want to add. So don't worry. 
if you like, don't download my son to you, Ashata. I respect that. You have the rights too. So we just for have this understanding as people. Uh -huh. I hope say I add up something to that. And All thanks right. to Perfect. the powers that be, the government, the top bosses that have always been speaking to me and him over the years before today. I don't know if I can mention names because of levels, but they know themselves. And wherever they are, thank you, God bless you. We, we want to change the narrative. We're in 2019 and in 2020, Africa must sing a new thing. And Ghana especially must have a renewed mindset so that we can grow. Because we wish to grow in the music industry. Right? Exactly. Okay. We'll take the very last question from Eugene of Peace FM. Okay. Um, uh, quick two or three questions. The no, first one One question, is... Eugene. Only one. Okay. Um, I want to know the event. Is it going to be a one-off thing or is it going to be annual? Um, because if it's annual, it's going to go a long way to sustain the unity and the peace we're projecting. And then secondly, um, they have both spoken about the fan base. Um, they acknowledge the fact that the media one is a question. very strong platform. Thank you, Eugene. I want, to, I want them Thank to make you, an Eugene. official statement to their fans. Thank you, Eugene. They've already made an official statement. Thank you, Eugene. And um, just to say that the peace concerts date and uh, time and venue will be communicated in the next few weeks. If you've had any dates outside um, of this room, of, not from the two gentlemen here, it is a fake uh, date that you have been given. And so the announcement will be made very soon. Uh, thank you very much. And for the official announcements, they have done that. Uh, for the past 20 minutes, they've been speaking uh, to uh, the unity and what they expect their teaming fans to do. So they've already made that statement. Um, right. Okay. Oh, cool. um, to be honest, for it to keep running, right, it doesn't depend only on us to do it. You know, there are several arms like the business parts that have to keep running. So, so long as we're able to financially sustain this to make it keep going, we will definitely keep it running. And when time permits, because we both are busy artists and we have our own shadows. Mind you, this is not a new group. This is not the new group. We've been and I've always been and want to stand for unity and push right in unity, but us. The shutter that has always been as a storm boy that would always keep grinding. So we would even love to do this weekly, even daily. You know what I mean? Once as the other parts kick and we have time and everything resonates for us to do it. Right? So All right. Thank you, know, you very much. Yes. Storm boy. Shutter, do you want to add on? I, I, I think yes. Why are you always <laughs> moving right? <laughs> I think I think he's he's said everything and okay. I, I I like what you also said, so it's good. All right. Um, so we've taken all our questions. But before we go, I see Wendy Shea here. Uh, Wendy is here as a very young artist, a new artist on the block. And as the two of them uh, mentioned earlier, they are doing this so that the younger generation will not repeat their mistakes. For you here, what do you think, seeing your seniors come together this way? Uh, quickly, and then we can wrap up. They say that we're very grateful you guys are setting a very great example for young and upcoming artists like us. So please keep the unity strong because we look up to you guys. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. All right, so we have to say a big thank you to all of you for coming. We have to say a big thank you to the Kofi Aban Foundation for making this possible. And I don't want to go without thanking the management teams of these two artists. Black City, uh, who is a manager for Stoneboy, exceptionally great gentleman. Uh, and Bulldog, of course I was going to mention Bulldog. Bulldog, where is he? Bulldog, Ooh. exceptionally great as well. The two of them combined are great. They've been phenomenal. And I can't go without saying thank you to Bullet. Uh, Bullet as well. Yeah. Uh, he's Rough very helpful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You know, I think, I, think, I think what people don't also know is that Bullet also helped in, in yeah. bringing this yeah. unity yeah. Yeah. together. Yeah. And yeah, that it. yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Bullet. All right. right. So on because behalf first. of BIM Nation, can I hear BIM? Uh, it's not loud enough. Oh. <laughs>
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bim, is it loud enough? Show them, show them. Like they are not serious. They are not serious, eh? Be serious, be serious. Uh huh. Now we are getting. Yo, I see Kelvin boy here too. I see Sheriff. I see ca uh, uh, Captain. I see right. Oh, the, Captain, oh, the, the militia. Uh, the militants. Yeah, yeah, the militants. The militants yeah. are here.